do to keep from killing each other. So I had some people say, hey, wait a minute, I travel by myself. This one is define your roles. And then wow. that was fast. That that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, He's done with I you. Primarily do the driving. So I can't touch the air or the radio or <laughs> Welcome to these five things. This is week number three of our tips, our reasons, our these five things. Yeah, what are these five things? Well, this week we are talking about five relationship tips for traveling in a tiny camper. Right, and this is just what we do to keep from killing each other, so. <laughs> You can go along with it, you can agree, you can disagree, but this is just... I had some people say, hey, wait a minute, I travel by myself. Uh, maybe you can pick up some tips from us. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if anything, it gives you an insight into us. We have been married for Our 40, craziness. 41 years, and we've been traveling this tiny camper for seven years. Right. So the first one is define your roles. And then stay in your lane, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we always say that, uh, we, we always use this little key, uh, key word as, oh, we're, are, oh, you're, you're part done? of this group, aren't you gonna go to, wow. stay to? Wow. That was fast. That, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm done with y'all. So we say define your roles right. or uh, stay in your own lane. Right, right. And so if I get in Ed's lane, he'll say, stay in your lane. Or if he gets in my lane, stuff i say the same thing so so what are some examples of we haven't rehearsed sources by the way oh. uh, what are some examples of your lane well lunch fixing lunch crawling to the back of the, the van and fixing lunch and how i do it and where i want things so like don't move it if i have it someplace leave it alone um what else? Like our our clothes, those things are my responsibility. Like what um, what we're gonna take on a trip. Although I have some input into you know basically where we're going, what I need personally. But, right, but yeah. as far as what we need on a trip and um, what we're gonna eat on a trip, that's all my mm -hmm. responsibility. Mm -hmm. And Ed's responsibility is what? What do you well, do? Well, nothing. I just kind of slack. I know. No, um, feel my pain. So, so anytime we're in the van, I I handle. I primarily do the driving. So I can't touch the air or the radio <laughs> or because that's his lane. Sometimes, sometimes uh, she wants to. Uh, she likes it warmer in there than I like. So for her, I like I put on some more clothes. <laughs> so I have all the vents put his way. And I went to the Vera Bradley sale a few weeks ago, and I did get this blanket scarf-like thing that's on the back of my seat. So now I can so, cover up. Some of the serious things are uh, right. that are my responsibility is all the mechanical things, the systems on the camper right. and the the van. It's my responsibility to make sure that the oils change before we go. She doesn't she doesn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Oil changes. Make sure we have plenty of fuel. If, when we get gas, where we get gas. That's all on me. Mm -hmm. uh, if the van were to break down... Uh, <laughs> if! <laughs> if! If the van were to break down, that's my responsibility. Yeah. Uh, although I might have her you know, look up something on the internet for me or something like that. Or put it on Herky's Facebook page so we get rescued. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's primarily my responsibility... Uh, she doesn't know, and I'm not saying anything bad, she doesn't know anything about mechanical systems. So um, that's my responsibility. I take full responsibility for that. And if if I make a mistake, it's on me. So, um, and vice versa. I don't, I'm not very good at packing things. I'm not very good at uh, knowing what we're going to need for the journey. Like she makes sure that we have the right clothes and and um, I make sure we overpack the right food and things like that. Now, along with this staying in your own lane thing, is uh, we don't allow criticism when somebody screwed up on their responsibility. Although, well, it's not that we don't allow it; we just don't do we, it. We just don't do it. Right. So, right. Um, if sometimes it's hard, but 
if we try not to if, do it let's put it that if way. i if we were wanting to eat something or basically i got out of the van and didn't have the clothing that i wanted or needed um uh, just kind of give a pass on it and go on because that's her responsibility and, and um there's a fly flying around here so anyway Number one, define uh, so, your roles and right. stay in your own life. My lane. job is to take care of Herky as far as his yeah. getting his needs. But then Ed's job is while he's pumping the gas, he also lets Herky out to I the take, potty. I take care of Herky. So those are just some examples of mm -hmm. some some things. What we that, do. Uh, it makes life easier if you decide, between the two of you, you decide what roles you're going to play and who's going to do what. Divide the then, jobs up. And then do that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, don't slack on your responsibility. And uh, if the other person is doing their job, it might not be the way you wanted it done. But you just got to keep your mouth shut and stay in your own lane. <laughs> okay. Number one, define your roles. Number two. Find the, the humor, humor in everyday, everyday life. life. Sometimes that's really hard. <laughs> when your uh, car is on the back of a flatbed U-Haul trailer mm -hmm. and you find yourself in a box truck that rides rougher than the Astro van. Or the weather is not cooperating yeah. with you. Rain the whole time yeah, or I, snow, sleet, I, ice. I, I, can remember. I did not find humor that week, I have to admit. <laughs> I can remember uh, we were camping up at uh, Cedar Lake one time and right as we're getting ready to tear down the the camper and put everything away, I mean, it was coming down in buckets. Yeah. I mean, and um, Nancy found humor in this, and this, I said, there's no use in both of us getting soaking wet. Our uh, niece was with us, and too. You stay in the car, and I'll go out. So I'm out there, and it's pouring down rain. And I'm drenched. I mean, I'm drenched to the bone. But my job was I had his clothes all ready. Yeah. And he, from our, our camping site, he pulled up to the bathhouse, went in, showered, changed, and came out with an umbrella. But we, we were laughing. We were laughing about it, even though I was uh, I was soaking wet and his it was lightning struck. It was dripping off his nose. We were laughing. Was, we, you know, we just... Yeah, just yeah. Found it funny. It's camping. Uh, there's been some times, you know, that we've had some car trouble or things like that. And really, you just got to you just gotta have some humor about it. And also, you know, you have some fun. Uh, you're traveling. You're, yeah. you're doing something right. that the majority of people just wish they were doing. Yeah, so, you're off the couch. So you have to, you have to, um, you have to laugh about it and have some fun. Sometimes we meet some weirdo interesting characters <laughs> yes we have and, and but we've met some incredibly yeah. sweet kind yeah even on those incredible eccentric people we'll call them uh we get back in the van and we just have a really good chuckle at at some of the stuff they've said to us so anyway find humor in every day and in, in every day so uh that's every one of the things life. we try to do even when you're not traveling you should try to find humor number three Give each other space. Which is hard to do in a tiny space. Right. And if the weather's bad. Mm -hmm. So, but what we have found, and not everybody can do this, but um, like in the mornings and of an evening, I get in the camper, I get ready for either bed or for the day. Ed gets in the van because all his stuff is kept in there. And so he gets ready for the day or for the night. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I get up in the morning. I remember I primarily am responsible for walking Herky and right. those type of things. So uh, I get up in the morning and I, me and Herky go to the van. We get things ready and then we go for a walk. Right. And usually here's, here's what happens usually. If Ed needs space, he'll say to me, did you see that shop over there? And he'll pull up and I go in a shop for a while. <laughs> or if I need space, I'll say, you know, I think Herky wants to go to the bathroom or on her walk or something. And so... So basically me and we, Herky we don't get, get any alone time. <laughs> Herky doesn't want alone time. No. <laughs> he he no. wants to be with me continually. Yeah, he does. I'm sorry <laughs> to say that, but so, he does. So there is times that you just got to take a walk. Um... Now we're we're discussing things like we've spent months on end on the camper, so it's we're not talking about just you know a weekend trip or something like that. No. I mean, it might happen on a weekend, but or just... even a white a week trip. There's times you know towards the end, like mm -hmm. say Thursday, you're like, okay, yeah. Yeah. I could uh, use a good 
quite yeah, a time. And, um, Along with that is, you know, I have, sometimes I, I have these hearing problems and sometimes a lot of noise and things like that. Some days it, mm -hmm. it, it really bothers me. So uh, I need some quiet sometimes. So um, eh, I do that. And mm -hmm. so number three, give each other space. It, it works out really, really good. Number four, give and take. Um, go along with what the other one likes and even if you don't like it, do it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Does that mean like taking eight mile hikes up the side of a mountain to a glacier? <laughs> I did that. <laughs> you went along with it. <laughs> it was hard. Yeah. Now, you've not trumped with me through any of the shops, though. I need no, to say I, that. No, I don't. You know, I'm going along. I'm going along. He pulls I, over. I don't have to jump out of the van. Or I usually find a, a spot to sit, but I, and I comment on those. And, and you wear what I and, buy. And you. I wear, yes, yes. But I think uh, when you're planning a long trip, you can't, one person can't do everything that, that they, they want to do. They want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got in the hot springs with them. Not China hot springs. But you like that. You had to pay, and it was extremely hot. Now, at Liard Hot Springs, mm -hmm. you could move yourself to where it was cooler. So I got in. It was free with mm -hmm. the admission into the park. And sometimes when you try things that the other person likes, you decide that yeah, it wasn't, wasn't bad. You had a good time uh, enjoying it, too. Oh, uh, well, we'll let you know when he tries the well, shopping with me. You know, it's kind of like uh, when Nancy went to that nuclear reactor with me and... Um, in Idaho. Do you see like a pattern here? <laughs> I do all your stuff. I'm seeing a pattern. I did not like the nuclear reactor. Uh, I did go out and sit in the van after a while. <laughs> so yeah, I, like like I said here, uh, give and take, go along with the other person's uh, likes and dislikes and things like that. So it makes makes life more cohesive when traveling together in a tiny camper. Well, yeah, and you don't want to be mad at each other in that small space. No. So, yeah, that brings us to number five. What is it? Oh, well, why don't you do that yes. one? Say I'm sorry and move on. Yeah. So if you are going to be together for three months or just a week, a, week, a weekend, and <clears throat> you're going to have a chip on your shoulder for the whole week, it's going to make... It's going to make things really... Yeah, it's just not yeah, fun. Yeah, I mean, look, we've been married for 41 years. We're not, we're not setting ourselves as an example here. We're yeah. just, we're just, we're just saying that... We're not perfect. Um, you have to, you know, it's okay to, 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 to be angry a little, you know, for a few minutes and that, but you, you just, if the other person says they're sorry, you just gotta, you can't just say, keep rehashing, rehashing the whole this. thing yeah. over yeah uh, and we know this from experience now yeah trust me yeah you, you have we to learned just... the hard way so we're just letting you in on this so you don't have to learn like we learned so you have to just say hey i'm sorry yeah and pull up and move. let's go get an ice cream let's, let's go. ice cream <laughs> makes everything better <laughs> well with me it's a snow cone <laughs> there's a give and take i hate snow cones <laughs> you don't eat them though you no. just take me to get them. i take her to get them but i, I shouldn't say I hate them they hurt my teeth so i'll take her to get a snow cone and i usually wind up getting an ice cream but anyway even in alaska <laughs> he took me we were in homer and it was bitter cold but i just you know mm -hmm. sometimes you just need that snow cone say i'm sorry and yeah. just keep just going move on it kind of goes back to the stay in your own lane type right. thing too is like you know, if if you screw something up, you you can't just let you know. You can't just if the other person screws something up, you can't just keep, keep harping on yeah. it. You just got to say, okay, you know, we're in this together. Um, move on. It's, you know, speaking about the mechanical things, there's a lot of times that you know, there's things that I I get frustrated with myself that I should have fixed or or I I messed something up when I was doing it. And, um, you know, I just, I just own it and say, and then, and there's also times that we're supposed to bring, Nancy's supposed to bring something and she just forgot it. It was like, okay, we just go to Walmart, get it. Or do without. Or do without and, yeah. and move on. I can't just keep reminding her, well, if you would have brought the, if you would have brought the steaks, we'd be eating steaks tonight. You know, you just, you, you can't do that. You got to just say, I'm sorry and move on from it. 
Number six, the bonus. Oh, well, we're already to number six? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, actually, it's these five things, but we always throw in this bonus. <laughs> yeah, these bonus. So really, and this really should go without saying, but just have fun together. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy each other. I think that, uh, you know, we do these little things like, I don't know, you can't see over, over in Studio B on our other B we, studio, we have our favorite road trips. Uh, we have them all mapped out, the things that, that we like together. And so, you know, you got to just do things that bring you joy and you have fun with. Um, one of the things that really brings us joy is we enjoy Route 66. Yeah. Uh, we've done it three times. Yeah. It's on our list of road trips. Yeah. We've even though we've seen the blue whale three times, mm -hmm. it brings us joy to get out of the car and see the blue whale mm -hmm. once again mm -hmm. and walk out on it. I think about the, the launching pad over in Wilmington. We stand here in front of the Gemini Giant. We've done that a million times. You see him riding on our, yeah. our thing. Those bring us joy. I think... But he's been there four The other years. thing that brings us joy that we both really like is... Herky. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't going to say that, but well, I, that's true. We, what's we, the other thing? We really like, I think, uh, like meeting people on yeah. the road and sharing our experiences. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we've met some really cool people yeah. doing that. And it just it just brings us joy, and and we have fun together doing those things. So um, finding those, Nancy likes shops, and I like little places to eat. Mom um, and pop. Mom yeah. and pop places to eat. So, Restaurants. Yeah, just, you know, have fun. Uh, don't make it a chore. And it, if things are getting to be a chore, then then stop for a little while. And, stop and find something else mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Or reevaluate why it's not fun. Right. Why, why it's not fun anymore. Yeah. And make what it... makes it dreadful for you. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can fix it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, okay. those are our are so these, this is these what we things. do to keep from killing each other. So we, well, and you know this relieves a lot of pressure. It don't bother me at all, <laughs> but it helps me. <laughs> As you can see, I'm the one with most of the problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, wasn't gonna say that. But. So anyway, um, this is no, week number three, and our these five things we plan on going five things in five weeks so we got a couple more and take to go. a break yeah because we'll we break. have more five we're things. working on travel and things like that so hang in those of you that uh, don't like this why well, hang in there uh, we've been doing really good at it though so anyway in review five things five ways to keep from killing each other <laughs> define your roles mm -hmm. find the humor in every uh, yes. day uh give and take or give, give each other give space each other yes. space Number yeah, four give is and give and take. My eyes uh, go along up. with other uh, people's likes and dislikes. Yeah. Say I'm sorry and move on. Move on. Don't grind the ax. Don't right. carry a grudge. And have fun together. Have fun together is number six. Okay, I hope you like these um, these five things series we're doing right now. Uh, we'll be back to traveling if you don't. But uh, hey, it's just a little insight on the things that make things better for us. So. Right. All right, Herky. His uh, his number one relationship tip is to look cute and uh, keep the hair out of your eyes. Beg for beg for uh, belly rubs. That's yeah. that's his yeah. that's his thing. So, alrighty, thanks. We'll see you again next Sunday. Bye now.